Uh, so the height of the rocket initially is given by 100 feet. Whatever the constant is, that tells you how high you started. Secondly, the maximum height is given by your vertex. So they ask you, at what point will this rocket attain maximum height? Maximum height in any instance for a parabola is given by the vertex. So for maximum height, find the vertex. For maximum height, find the vertex. I'm not going to go through that with you. You do negative b over 2a. You can find the vertex yourself, okay? The x will be the time. The y will be the height. So you're going to get some time, comma, some height. Did you follow me on that? Okay. Now, if it asks you when will it hit the ground, or when will it land, Let's look at that. When does the rocket hit the ground? Whenever it hits the x-axis, right? That's the ground. Now, is it going to hit the ground this way? No, that's negative time. So on your parabola, sure, you're going to come up with two, two, uh, I'm sorry, intercepts. One of them very well could be zero, in which case that it would be starting on the ground level. If it's not, if it's negative, of course you're not going to take that because you can't go backwards in time, but you can go forward. So you're going to look for your positive x-intercept that's going to be the time at which you hit the ground. So find x-intercept. That means you set it equal to zero and solve. So check it out. Maximum height, hey, done it. This gives you maximum height. When it will hit the ground, done it, right there. When it hits the ground, it's x-intercept. Where did you start at? Done it. Y-intercept is where you start at. So we've already done this. It's just now applied to some problems. This is how you use this in real life. If you wanted to ever find out the maximum height of a flying object or uh, how long it will take before it lands, even tra trajectories like this, like for actually launching a rocket that would, like, is designed to hit somebody, uh, it, it doesn't matter whether you're going this way or going straight up. The amount of time that it takes for it to fall back to the ground is the same. And so you'd say, okay, uh, do, according to this angle, which we don't know anything about angles, but you could say at this angle it's going to reach a certain distance in a certain amount of time depending on its velocity and air resistance, and you'd be able to find out exactly when it hits that. How many people in civil we talked about today? Good deal.